Hello, it's the G-Bag Nation here. Uh, Gavin Dawson, live from Radio Row here for the third day. And today, Chris Arnold's ooey became even a bigger story. Isn't that right, Chris? Very controversial. You see this set right behind us? This is the CBS Radio Sports set, which is also televised. They simulcast it. I was asked to position myself so they can get a shot of me doing the ooey. I did not know that it upset Jim Rome. Jim Rome was saying I was the guy that was doing the pig call. He called me a pig. I want to owe you, pal. I believe the proper phrasing is re he's referring to Chris as the pig on Radio Row. What to owe you? I resent that remark, but they don't know. They don't understand the ooey. They don't understand I do this for the Nationals. This is not some bit just for Super Bowl week. I did get a really nice interview with uh, Fox TV from Boston. The young lady that interviewed me, she said she really liked the ooey. She had heard it. There are actually people who would call it uh, a, a, a tornado siren. I like that. We had a guest that said it sounded like, oh, Mark Malone said it sounded like coyotes. I like that. I'll be damned if you call it pig suey. I learned that Bob Golick of Saved by the Bell fame, the college years, the bad part of the show, but still a good show. Top three show all time, just behind the high school version. Uh, I learned that he thinks you cannot eat only one Hot Pocket. You must eat all the Hot Pocket. Bob Golick. And there's a rookie for the Ravens named Crockett Gilmore who literally gets off work and goes home and binge drinks. Allegedly. <laughs> His and background on Twitter says beer. He says he doesn't go out. And, binge drinker. And he hunts and he shoots. He hunts Crane. He calls him ribeye in the sky. Drunk at the house. Hunts. <laughs> Crazy. We'll talk to you tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the nation.